My name is Greg Stock. I am the chairman and CEO of Xenos in Austin, Texas. I was drawn to Xenos uh, with my desire to build the company that I've always wanted to work at. And I looked for some fundamental things that were in place. One, I, I wanted to join a great team. Two, I wanted to find a market that was expanding rapidly. Um, but the biggest thing was to, the opportunity to build a, a foundational company here in Austin, Texas. One of the things that we hear over and over again from our customer base, uh, and they are a who's who um, in the, the greatest companies in, uh, around the world, they're constantly telling us they're exhausted from the way um, traditional software providers were approaching this space. Um, it's expensive, it's heavy-handed, and so Xenos is in a really great position um, to be disruptive to those companies, to offer a much easier way to get deployed across all of your assets while still being extremely scalable um, and very flexible. And, um, and we're very happy to hear that from our customers. We think it's, very, it's going to be a big changer in the space. When I first joined the company uh, and a couple of people were going on the road, they were going out to see some really big customers and I wasn't able to go and so I asked them if they would send me a selfie of themselves at the customer site with the logo or with somebody at the company and um, what I got back was a, a, an amusing picture of um, our SVP of services Brian Wilson in front of uh, a customer logo and it made me laugh but it also made me feel connected and I shared that with the executive team if you fast forward that, now there's kind of a tradition here that whenever anyone goes out to see a customer, they try to take what's now being called a Zelfie, a Xenos Selfie, and send it out to the team. I think as our customers try to compare us to the other companies out in the space, what they like first and foremost is that we're extremely focused on them. I hope if there's one thing that they've seen in the last year, that we're more customer centric than anyone else in the space. In addition to that, I think they love how easily our technology can be deployed to manage many diverse resources and a converged infrastructure to make sure their um, IT operations are running very, very smoothly. As we look into the future and try to um, think about what we're going to do next, it really is very simple. We're going to stay core to who we've always been. We'll stay committed to the open source community. Um, we will stay in the data center, we'll continue to monitor things, but we'll make them more scalable, we'll make our technology more usable, we'll add visualization. We will uh, continue to leverage cutting edge technologies like Hadoop and HBase and Docker. Um, and we'll continue to make it very easy to integrate with other solutions out there, be it strong partners like Cisco and Lenovo and ServiceNow, or maybe a few other new partners. So I think we're at that moment where, a transformational moment where we're saying, uh, things are gonna change rapidly for us. Everything's already moving up and to the right, and now exponentially things are gonna change. And I think the employees are feeling that. 